Anybody thinks that they're on the poverty line at the moment or that they're in debt, I'd reserve your judgment until actually you hear this guy. And if you feel that you're in a situation that you can't get out of, you might think twice after you hear this guy speak. So on that, I let, you tell, I let him tell you your story himself because he tells it uh, a lot better. And on that note, I want you to give a huge warm welcome to Pat Slattery. Get on your feet. Come on. It's for me. Get on your feet. <laughs> okay, guys, what I want from you right now is a commitment. Commitment is something that you're going to take from either what I share with you today or one of the other speakers share with you. That if you see something, you're going to take it, you're going to use it. Do you have that commitment? Let's see a show of hands. Okay, well, when you show your hands, say yes. Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Okay. So right through the rest of the afternoon, people are going to ask you to put your hands up. When you put your hands up, these are your hands. These are not 100 weights. It's not difficult, okay? For too long, we've been told to sit down and be quiet and sit down and shut up. That doesn't happen here. We want to hear you, okay? We want you to be involved because this is all about you, right? So from now on, when I say something, when I even put my hand up, I want your hands to go up and I want to hear? Yes. After. No, I want to hear? Yes. That's what's better, okay? Take your seat. Who here has not heard me speak before? Okay, there's quite a few. For those of you that have, pretend it's the first time, and pretend it's as exciting as it was the first time as well, okay? All right, I want you to get really excited. But I'm gonna give you a little bit of background about me, guys, and where I come from, and, and you know why I do what I do. And I want you to understand something. What I'm gonna offer you today, really and truly, is absolute honesty, okay? I'm gonna tell you exactly how things work for me and how, where I got you in my life, and I'm gonna share some stuff with you. You know, but I think the first thing I'm going to share with you is really the answer to something most people are looking for. Okay? And I'm going to ask you, who wants to know the true secret to success? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Have you got your pen and paper? Okay? Because this is the answer, and I want you to take this down. I want you to really, really focus on this. Okay? Have you got your pen and paper ready for this? Are you sure? Yes, yes. <laughs> there is no secret. Okay? We're listening to talking about the secret of success and the secret of this and the secret of that. There is no secret. Why? Because over this weekend, over these two days, you've got people who have systems that work. We're sharing these with you. You're getting the opportunity to take something that works. And we're prepared to give it to you. So there are no secrets to success. Okay? The key, however, is to take it and use it. For too long and too often, guys, we try to reinvent the wheel. We try to come up with our own ways to trade the stock market. You're going to meet a lot of people, and I know for sure because I've done it. I've traded the stock market and I've lost money. Lots of money. And then I took Owen's course, and I'm glad to say we're making money. The difference is he has a system that works. And the idea is to take the systems that work and do it. Use the systems that are proven. Stop trying to reinvent the wheel. If you want something in life, if you want a goal or a dream that you want to go after, find somebody who's successful at it and do as they do. That's what you're getting here this weekend with the people who are attending this, this seminar. Okay? Now, over this <coughs> course of the weekend, we're going to get BFOs, and I know quite a few have, been, have heard me speak, but for those of you that haven't heard me speak before, do you know what a BFO is? The last time I spoke, somebody said, a big fat something or other showed it up at me, right? But a BFO, guys, is simply a blinding flash of the obvious. You know when you get those light bulb moments, and something hits you, it's so obvious it's going to hit you, you're going to get them. Throughout my talk, throughout the next speaker and the next speaker, I'm sure you've got some already. Again, when you get your BFO, act on it. Do something about it. It's absolutely useless if you don't do something about it. A lot of you guys have taken the first steps by coming here today. 
And that is the first step. That's the first action. And nothing happens without action. We had Bob Proctor speak with us a couple of weeks ago in Dublin. And we had a private breakfast with him. And somebody asked him.